Cohen on behalf of the Hertz Furniture School Matters blog. Are you one of the over 10 million people who has seen the viral video created by Code.org? The one with high profile people from the computing world, including Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg, trying to convince younger generations to learn to code. The video opens with this quote from Steve Jobs. Everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer because it teaches you how to think. I completely agree. And my only problem with the video is that after this quote, they kind of push aside what I see as the biggest payoff of learning how to code, developing one's thinking and problem solving skills. What the video does instead is make coding seem incredibly exciting and empowering. After some well-known figures explain what got them started coding, they then start to talk about how it's really not that hard and then jump to a series of futuristic techie shots that serve to build the drama further. Why do they do all this? Well, as they admit, there's a shortage of skilled computer programmers out there and they want to fix that. Fair enough. Next we see the offices, and boy, look at those workspaces. The message is, if you code, you will make tons of money, and you will be able to sit in a lounge chair in the sun all day eating fancy free food with your laptop at your side, right? Okay, so I know some programmers myself, and while not all office digs are like Google's, they do tend to be generally nicer places to work than other less techie offices. The video goes on to compare those who code to, and I'm serious, wizards and rock stars, and say it's like having superpowers. Now maybe there's nothing wrong with the way that they're trying to attract kids to coding, except for the fact that some of the kids may find it um, a surprise when they realize how much hard work it actually takes. But what I know as a teacher, although it doesn't sound as exciting, is that teaching coding holds incredible potential as a tool to teach problem solving in schools, and that's something we desperately need more of. When I took the programming language of Pascal in high school, it was one of the few times in my public education, my very good public education, that I had to really struggle and persevere to find a solution to a problem. I had to think, I had to problem solve. And I found it so intimidating um, and the struggle so disappointing that I actually believed that I just wasn't good enough at programming to excel in it. And this is part of the problem. We need problem solving like this in every subject from a young age because a crucial part of problem solving is realizing and understanding that true problems are not easily solved and require perseverance and creativity. I admit that I will be surprised if in 10 years coding doesn't become a regular subject uh, and part of the curriculum starting in elementary school. And the next challenge will be making sure that standardized tests don't dumb down what is supposed to be an activity that stimulates higher order thinking. I can imagine a horrible standardized test that only asks kids to memorize a specific syntax of a language. Um, and that would be missing the point entirely. For more information, go to code.org, check out the video, and also click on the Learn tab where you can get started learning how to code today.